Hello my frugal friends, welcome back to our place for another grocery haul video. Today's a big one. We did spend $123.35 across Coles and Woolies. We picked up some bargains which I'll talk you guys through. We also completed our week four spend for our Coles flybys offer. That was a four week $60 a week spend at Coles to receive 10,000 bonus points back, which is equivalent to $50 cash back. That has been completed, so over the next couple of days we will see that those points credited to our account. And we've also picked up a bunch of food. We are stocking the pantry with, with a few things. We've picked up some markdowns and we should be pretty good here setting ourselves up for May. So. This is all mixed up a little bit together. I'll talk you guys through everything that we bought, where we got it from, and some of the specials that we found. So this week I did need to pick up some breakfast cereal. We were starting to run on fumes. So I've picked up the wheat biscuits and the quick oats from Coles. These are pretty much staples for us. We will do these as well as some eggs for breakfast. We keep breakfast pretty simple. Um, most of the time and then once a week we like to do something special so while we were at Woolies we actually saw the blueberry bagels which are our absolute favorite they were on special this week for three dollars fifty so even though last week I picked up some crumpets to put in the freezer I grabbed two packets of these while they were $3.50 and I'm going to put these in the freezer for later on down the track too. So we'll probably have these in a week or two uh, and we'll get two weeks worth of special breakfast out of those. So they're going to go into the freezer. Uh, but while I was there, I did grab the cream cheese as well so that I remember to get it. This will last for quite a while in the fridge. So we are set there with bagels for breakfast um, for a couple of special breakfasts later on down the track for milk this week and this has been a bit of an ongoing sort of learning process for us let's just say that what we're trying to do is now that we are completely debt free um, we don't owe anybody anything for anything and we are starting to use our money to make it um, do the things that we want to do with our lives but we're also starting to question what are the things that are important to us and one of the things we wanted to do was look at the things that we were purchasing and the impacts that they were making so with our groceries we really want to try and support Aussie farmers Aussie industries and Aussie businesses but it hasn't been easy particularly when you start talking about throwing in plastic packaging as well the whole thing's a bit of a nightmare but we haven't given up yet and we are doing our best. That was a long story to tell you about this milk. <laughs> so um, this is Australian owned. This is from the Otways region. So it's Victorian. So again, trying to support local Aussie farmers. These guys, um, this is grass fed, pasture raised cows. The company is owned by four Aussie dairies. I think we're getting closer. I think we're getting closer to finding a milk brand that we want to support. It's not cheap. This was $4.80 at Coles. Um, but I did look into the company. Looks pretty good. They've got a really neat little YouTube video. I will link it down below if you guys want to have a look into it. Um, but I think we're getting closer to supporting a good Aussie owned brand of milk not winning on the cheese but we're getting closer with the milk so green pastures uh, it is available at Coles it only comes in the two liter one at our Coles I don't know if any other Coles are different but again uh, it is a little bit expensive but trying to support Aussie industries um, and try and make a difference with our purchases where we can I didn't end up going to Aldi haven't done that yet um, I do prefer the yogurt from Aldi but I grabbed this one. This was $5 on special at Woolies this week. The Tamara Valley is not too bad, all things considered. We prefer a yogurt that is a full cream yogurt, not a skim milk yogurt. Uh, and this one is that. 
and is fairly reasonably priced and tastes pretty good. And it is made in Tasmania and it is pretty much, what? so it's 98% Australian ingredients. So there you go. Uh, we're doing that one this week and uh, we'll see how we go with that. On the cheese front, I've gone again for the Devondale. Again, like I said, I haven't been able to find a really good brand at our supermarkets. We're back to the Devondale. It is um, grass-raised cows, or it's supposed to be. And I know, again, it's not a perfect solution because Devondale, Goulburn, Murray is itself is not Australian-owned, but um, the cheese, the milk products itself is 99% Australian produce. So, you know, until we can find a better one, if you guys know of a cheese that is available at Coles or Woolies that the profits stay in Australia as well, let me know in the comments. I would be interested to follow up on that one. Unfortunately, our Coles has a very limited range of cheeses. And in fact, in the Devondale, it only carries the Colby uh, and is predominantly just its own Coles brand because our Coles is quite small. I did pick up an avocado that was $2 at Woolies, not a bad price. Over here we've got some markdowns that we've been able to pick up. So I've got a bag of chopped kale for $1.50, probably use that in a warm kale salad. I might go half and half, do a warm kale salad, and I might do another kale and white bean soup, which I did the other week and that was really nice. So heading into our autumn, some soups and stews on the menu is a good thing. I also managed to pick up um, a cauliflower rice for 60 cents, which I'm going to throw straight into the freezer. I grab these all the time when they're marked down. I think they're fantastic. What I like to do is just chuck them in the freezer just like this. And then when I go to use it, I will use it in anything from spaghetti bolognese, chili, stews, casseroles, anything that needs a good filler. This is great. It's some extra sneaky veggies in there. Um, it fluffs out mince. So if you've got a mince dish, um, use the cauliflower rice with it. Makes the mince go heaps further. But the cauliflower rice will take on the flavor of anything you cook it with. The thing that I do with it though, um, is I chuck it in like this and I use it frozen. So I'll just pull this out from the freezer. I do give it a good bang on the um, counter before I use it to break it up a bit. And then I will just fry it off from frozen. And I've never had a problem with it or the cauliflower going smelly or stinky, but that's how I use it. Freeze it straight in the bag, straight away. And then when I go to use it, use it from frozen and I will fry it off before I put it in the dish that I am cooking it with. So that one's gonna go in the freezer. I will use that later on down the track. Uh, at the deli, so if you guys aren't looking for stickers at the deli, Totally got to do that too because once again we've found some pretty good stickers at the deli. So we've picked up some squid rings. I've got two of those and we've got some prawns. So probably be cooking up some kind of seafoody type thing. I'm not exactly sure yet. I was thinking maybe a laksa, but I don't know. We'll see what that turns into this afternoon. It could be anything. Who knows? And I did grab a big container. There's actually two blocks in there of feta. So uh, I will be doing something with one of those and putting the other one. I'm going to wrap it and put it in the fridge and we'll get a day or two out of it. It'll be fine. So other markdown stickers. We've got some baby cukes for $1.50. Primarily for snacks around here, what we do is fruit or veggie sticks. So these will go good as a little snack. We can also throw them in some salads and things like that. And we grabbed some marked down kiwi fruit. These were down from $6.90 to $1.38. And I didn't actually catch it at the checkout, but it scanned at full price. So when I went back, just to let them know after, I always check my receipt before I leave the car park. And I noticed that this one scanned at full price. So we actually got it for free, which was pretty awesome. Um, I definitely didn't want to pay $7 for it. I was happy to pay $1.38, but I'm even happier that this is a little freebie. So that's uh, a little win for us this week. Luckily, my flybys offer, just as a side note, 
was actually it was sixty dollars spend, but we ended up spending. I always go just a little bit over, but when we were at the checkout, it was sixty eight dollars, and I thought I must have missed something. But as it turned out, this scanned wrong. If you do have a flybys offer and you go back in after the sale has been finalized they will take this off so if this had put us down under sixty dollars we would have actually lost our flybys points so just something to be mindful of um, if you can catch it at the register it is always a lot better to do it there and they can fix it and it won't affect your flybys points if you finalize the sale like i did today and checking your receipt as you walk out towards the car and realize there's a mistake uh, when they go and credit it, they will, um, it'll adjust your flybys offer. And if that puts you under your spend, unfortunately, the whole shop does not count. I learned that the hard way uh, a year ago one time and it really sucked. Um, so just be mindful of that. Sometimes there has been times where I've copped it. Um, I wasn't going to cop it this time because it's their $7.00. But when they've been maybe 25% off and it's actually put us under our spend, I haven't actually gone back and corrected it because we would have lost our flybys points. But the moral of that story, if you can catch it at the checkout, it's always a better time. Picked up some frozen corn. We're just about completely out of frozen veggies, but we do have frozen veggies from our garden. So I've got some beans from the summer, veggie patch. Um, I've still got some zucchini and things like that. Uh, completely out of corn, so I grabbed one of those from Coles. I also um, grabbed some potatoes. These were $3.90 for the two kilo bag, so not a bad price. All right, um, we'll do these stickers and then we'll talk about the stuff for the pantry because I have doubled up on a few things there. But popped into Woolies. Uh, I didn't intend to pick this stuff up, but it was there and it wasn't a bad price, so I've grabbed it. I'm going to stick it in the freezer. Um, some marinated chicken that is 500 grams for $4.30 and we've grabbed a couple of packets of the beef peppered beef steaks they were marked down to $3.75 so again these are going to go straight into the pa um, straight into the pantry but not do that straight into the freezer as is and we will use those over the next couple of weeks so I do like to try and get in front with the meat and buy it when it is marked down and then I will plan out of the freezer with what we already have. Also picked up some things from the bakery marked down. This is why you don't go shopping at lunchtime and have not had lunch because then you buy stuff like this which you really don't need. But again, um, I will divvy these up and put these into the freezer in smaller packs and then we have little grab and go bags if we have to go out anywhere and we need to take a snack they're really handy and they do freeze really well so I will put those into packs of three um, so we'll get two packs out of those and we have some spinach and feta rolls there as well which are also going to go into the freezer uh, the chocolate and the chips the chips were marked down to 50 cents the chocolate was clearance at Woolies for a dollar 80 uh, and that was just because I was hungry so so some not good stuff happening over there because that's why you don't go shopping on an empty stomach um, from Coles I picked up some peanut butter and honey and again I opted for the bigger brand of peanut butter because it's all natural, no added sugar, and it is Australian peanuts and an Australian company, and it's in a glass jar, so a lot of ticks there, and um, the honey as well as in a glass jar, so we're trying to get away from plastic packaging where we can. As I look over and see, again, everything is wrapped in plastic, but small changes, and we do the best we can where we can. $8.50 for the organic honey, $4 for the peanut butter that was on sale. Um, Charlotte wants to make some um, energy balls and we need peanut butter and honey for those. So I know I'm going to go through a little bit. Plus we've been using honey as a sweetener rather than sugar. So we've been going through a little bit more of it. I grabbed those and then went into Woolies and these ones here, which are plastic and squeezy, but these are in the clearance section for $3.60. So even though I just grabbed this honey, I grabbed these two as well because I know we're going to use it. Um, I was trying to get away from the plastic packaging, but at $3.60 for 340 grams, 
that's not a bad price for organic raw honey that is 100% Australian. So um, we should be right for honey for a little bit, I think. I hope. We're also out of uh, soy sauce, so I grabbed the Kickerman soy sauce. Um, it is a gluten-free one. That is $5 something. I will put this price up on the screen. Um, a couple of other things that we were completely out of. Corn flour. Uh, needed to replace that. That was completely empty and I used that as a thickener quite a bit. Also like to keep creamed corn on hand. This is great to throw in soups and stews. I made a chicken and sweet corn risotto and I also made a beef and cabbage stew and I used the last two uh, cans of cream corn that I had so I've just replaced those and I'll, they'll just stay in the pantry for use later on. I did grab some red split lentils. This is the really big bag. This was $4.60 at Woolies. I didn't price it at Coles so I don't know if I got a good price or not. Um, one kilo bag and I'm just going to use that again a bit like I use the cauliflower rice to fill out meals use less meat to make the meat go a little bit further but we're still adding protein and fiber and all of those sorts of good things uh, and again that bag one kilo bag will last us a very very long time i think i've covered everything in over here so that just brings us to this little bit here this will actually come out of our personal care budget not our grocery budget so this will drop our actual grocery budget um, cost by uh, about $20, a little bit more. Um, I picked up some toothpaste for Charlotte, that was $2. Ibuprofen tablets to have on hand, they're $1.50 each. And some cold sore patches for Charlotte, these are $16. So this here alone is um, pushed up our spend quite a bit, but uh, when you need stuff like that, you need stuff like that. So that is this week's shop. I think I have covered everything. It is a little bit all over the place and not terribly organized, but we've got a lot of food here, a lot of stuff already in the fridge, freezer and the pantry. Um, and so a lot of this stuff is going to go away to use in further future weeks. Well, there you go. I thought I'd just pop in here at the very end of this video and say thank you so much for spending a little bit of time here with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, as always, if you could please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. It lets me know the kind of content you guys are enjoying and what you would like to see more of. And if you would like to see more grocery haul videos, I do hope you consider subscribing so you can be notified when my new content comes out. Well, I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and I do hope to see you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Bye.